LightSAM is a newer brand operated by the same people who run FeeTorch that I've looked at previously. This light is a single emitter, AA or 14500 sized light designed with everyday carry in mind. Thanks to LightSAM for saying it to me. Due to some recent wrist surgery, I'm going to try and keep this shorter since typing and editing video with a splint and cast isn't the most fun thing to do right now. So if you see fewer reviews and videos from me over the next eight weeks, this is why. So here is the package, the outer box that the LightSAM ev 8 comes in. And it's a nice box. You've got all the pertinent information you need on it. On the back here, you've got a runtime chart kind of telling you all about the light, features, size, things like that. The light itself comes in this uh, cardboard box here. It's a sturdy cardboard with this plastic insert. Underneath that, you get the manual. You get this lanyard. You get an extra button and O-ring, and you get this holster. The light does fit in here decently. It's not the world's best quality holster, but it's uh, more than adequate for this cost of light and size of light. It fits in there pretty decently while it does increase the size of the light considerably. You also get a 14500 battery that I've got installed in the light right now. So the construction, this light is made from a black anodized aluminum. It's fairly lightweight at 55 grams with the included battery and clip. Length comes in at 101 millimeters and diameter at 18.25. And if I just compare it here to my Raylite TI LAN Kickstarter edition here. It also uses the same size battery and you can see it is just a hair shorter but quite a bit thicker. And then I've got an Olight S1A here. You can see it's considerably shorter. If we look, take the two skinniest lights and look at diameters here, you can see that the uh, Light Sam EDO8 is the thinnest of the three and it's also the lightest. Knurling here is this diamond pattern with some texture inside of it with a few areas that are milled here. I like this texture. It's pretty high grip without being too aggressive. You can see the clip there. I'll go more into that in a minute. Shape-wise, this light's fairly generic. Nothing too fancy, nothing uh, that interesting. The threads were standard and uh, they were dry, unfortunately. The tail here has two areas for lanyard to attach with the button on the tail cap there. It will tail stand, but it's not the most um, secure design doing so. The switch here is a loud mechanical switch. And I had no problems with it activating in my pocket. The lens here is smooth and decently deep, and the LED is nicely centered. This light uses a Cree XPL in cool white, and it's one of the most cool tints that I've seen on a light this year. Beam pattern is good for EDC tasks. Let me kind of there. There is the lowest mode here in the beam pattern. It's got a fairly hot center with some spill. It's good for EDC tasks. Here is my night shots for the light Sam ED08. And this light starts off in high, which I've got the light on right now. We can pan down, we can see it lights up the deck in front of me real nicely. And if we look out into the yard, we can see it starts to illuminate stuff decently. Here is the next mode down. It loses quite a bit of light output. Still decent for EDC type tasks. This is low mode. Really, this is only good for my deck here, maybe 20 feet or so. Here is strobe, and here is SOS. Here is the battery that was included in the light. It is a LightSAM branded button top, eight protected 14500 rated at 750 milliamp hours, and the overall length is 52.13 millimeters, and I had no issues with it. The ED08 can also run your AA alkalines or your rechargeable nickel metal hydrides. I really didn't do much testing on this. You can expect less lumens and most likely a shorter runtime running on that. On the supplied 14500, total runtime from 100% output to zero relative output was 110 minutes. 
most of this time was below that 50% relative output and high lasted about two to three minutes before a big step down occurred. Medium was where this light really stayed for most of the time in the curve. Here is the graph running on in loop. Advertised brightness using the 14500s were 700 lumens, 100 lumens, 30 lumens, and 700 lumens for both strobe and SOS. I measured parasitic drain at 0.23 microamps. So the UI of this light is one area where I could see a lot of improvement in my opinion. So here we are starting out on high. It goes next to medium, next to low, then to strobe, and SOS. And then back to high. The light does feature memory for all those modes. For an EDC light, I prefer light to start in its lowest mode, giving the user the option to bump up if needed and retain their night vision. I also really don't like having to cycle through strobe and SOS as part of the main modes. In my opinion, it would be much better if these special modes were under a sub mode, maybe requiring a double or triple press to get to them. The pocket clip here is removable and you can see it's built for really thin pants or pockets. Any jeans or canvas type pants will have a hard time fitting at the very top of this pocket clip. And it's really not as deep as possible. Personally, as you know, I prefer deep carry pocket clips when possible, and this one could certainly be deeper. Other than that, I had no issues with it during carry regarding retention or uh, coming on accidentally. It's moderately stiff. The pros are, I like that this light includes a decent 14500 cell in the package with this light for one low price. I like that it has a thin profile with good knurling, and it's got a good pr beam profile for normal EDC light. The cons are this has strobe and beacon in its main modes, and these would be better accessed as a shortcut or on a secondary mode, in my opinion. The tint I found is quite cool, and I feel like this pocket clip could be deeper in design to fit in thicker pants. My conclusion is, at the time of this review, this can be found for less than $25 on Amazon. Given that it comes with a 14500 battery, I find this to be a pretty good value for the size of light, and if you don't mind cool white. I don't have the equipment to get an accurate lumen reading, but when comparing to other AA lights I have, or, trip, or 14500 lights, I feel like the rating of 700 lumens might be a little bit optimistic. I personally don't care for the light having strobe and SOS in its main mode group and the fact that it starts on high with memory in all modes. Hopefully LightSAM offers a revised UI in future models that takes those special modes and put them in their own group. I feel like a light with a revised UI would be a better option for EDC. If you're interested in learning more, I'll have a link to where the LightSAM ED08 can be picked up below on Amazon. As always, thanks for watching my videos. If you have any questions, please make sure to ask them. I'll do my best to answer. And I, as always, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe as it helps me bring more videos like this to you.